Artificial intelligence is going to the movies. With all the recent focus on AI, it was only a matter of time before the major production studios started incorporating the new technology into their work. And now one of the leading companies in the movie-making biz is adding generative AI tools to its video editing software. Adobe, the same company that makes the PDF plugin, also makes some of the most widely used editing software, and their new Adobe Firefly will use AI tools to change things in movie scenes by adding backgrounds or changing the lighting just by asking for it. Perhaps most impressively, a producer could ask the AI software to review a script written by a human and then provide suggestions about what types of visuals would fit the story, automatically creating storyboards and shot lists. And while the technology is currently geared towards blockbuster films and the advertising industry, experts say it will eventually be in the reach of smaller platforms too. The nice thing about AI is it has the potential to democratize the world by basically giving small entrepreneurs powerful technologies to automate routine tasks, save money, and become much more efficient. Well, the company is testing this new software, and if all goes well, we could be seeing AI-generated visuals in our movies by the end of this year. In Miami, Eben Brown, Fox News. In just over two years on the market, the Ford Mustang Mach-E has become the third best-selling electric vehicle in the United States, and not much has changed since it went on sale. The compact SUV drives pretty much the same as when it was introduced, except now it's better at driving. The Mustang Mach-E is one of Ford's models that are currently available with its hands-free Blue Cruise Highway driving system, which is a competitor to GM Super Cruise and Tesla Autopilot uses cameras, sensors, radar, and a built-in map to provide adaptive cruise control while your hands are off the wheel and your feet are off the pedal. But the Mustang Mach-E is the first to get the new and improved Blue Cruise 1.2. Along with driving within a lane, one of the new things it can do is change lanes when you hit the turn signal, checks traffic, and it moves you over without any interaction other than that. Also controls its speed better on curves, and if you come upon a big semi-truck, it'll move you over a little bit in the lane so you're not so close to it. A lot of people don't like driving right next to a big rig. It also just drives better than the last Blue Cruise equipped Mach-E I was in. It reacts to cars pulling in front of it better, and it's just smoother at steering itself within the lane, something that was improved with the use of artificial intelligence. Mustang Mach-E owners can opt in to share their data with Ford, which it compiles to improve the system. You know, in one way, Blue Cruise 1.2 makes the Mustang Mach-E more like a Mustang than ever before. Not the sports car, but the animal, because if you put them on a trail, they're probably just gonna keep walking down the middle of it, right? Unless you pull on the reins and ask them to move. At least I think that's how it works. I'm really more of an urban cowboy. For the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Gary Gastelou, Fox News. AI or artificial intelligence seems to know no bounds. It can deliver your food or chat you up. Even the Biden administration is using AI to cook up a new initiative. I am directing the creation of our department's first artificial intelligence task force. The task force could explore AI to tackle some of the country's most pressing issues, like countering the flow of fentanyl or finding and rescuing young victims of online sexual abuse. But some tech experts say AI could pose one of the greatest threats to humans. It has the potential of civilizational destruction. That sounds like something out of Hollywood. However, in real life, it may be up to Congress to rein in AI. And some lawmakers admit they have some catching up to do. My understanding of AI on a scale of 1 and 10 is about a 5. I put my knowledge on a scale of 1 to 10 at about a 1.5. The only member of Congress with a PhD in physics, Representative Bill Foster, has a solution to overcome the learning curve. What you do need is to have at least one or two members in the room when important decisions are being made that do understand the technical details. Without regulation, Foster says companies will ultimately have to decide how to deal with the emerging technology, which could have negative consequences. This is a problem that we're going to be dealing with for generations generations, but we cannot respond to it by breaking up into little tribes. The DHS says its AI task force will also examine the technology's potential harms. In Washington, Mather Avera, Fox News.